Hello, we're up to grade seven of oral tests for the AMEB. Ear tests, grade seven, seventh grade. Okay, and congratulations if you've got through to this far. So it is going to get trickier and um, you'll need to work on them for some time. The f three out of these four sections will be fine. The memorization is new and um, decidedly the most tricky new thing you've had for some time. Pitch. Uh, having sounded any major or minor, triad either in root position or in inversion, played within the limits of an octave, the candidate will recognise the major or minor triad stating its position. Is that the same as sixth grade? I think it is. Last time it was major or minor. So... The answer is major second inversion. <laughs> Did the major or minor first? Is that right? Second inversion? Ma yeah, major. Major second inversion. All right. I, I assume that you can tell the difference between major and minor by now. But if you're having trouble, can you sing green sleeves to it? Yes, you can. That makes it minor. So, can you hear the root position? Ba, 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 ba. Um, because there's no song that I can think of that uses those. Huh. No, I don't know. I was remembering major. Alter. Um, so, the answer is minor root position. Okay, here's a couple for you. It's major first inversion. Yes, it is. Did you get that? So, minor second inversion, yeah. Minor first inversion. I'm finding that there's lots of the minor things that are only done in specific keys like that. It reminded me of um, uh, Lord of the Rings. I don't, I don't even know where. There's plenty of minor chords. Yes, major root position. Here we go. <coughs> um, excuse me. Harmony cadences, perfect plagal and interrupted. Um, so we're in D major, to which you go, so you know, you know that that's, um, perfect, you know that's plagal, and interrupted sounds like, Pretty easy to guess. Interrupted. Uh, so in the key of D, here's one. It's interestingly in the bass part. So they're trying to make things tricky now. And also if I played that in a um, churchy way, I could make it sound fairly. Mm, that's 
still sounds like perfect, doesn't it? It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. Um, oh my goodness. Ooh, baby, baby, sorry. Okay, here's one. Oh, Didn't match, did it? And it's playing. I wonder if I gave you enough time to guess then. Okay. Um. That's an odd one, isn't it? The last two chords are the same chord in different inversions. So the cadence comes on the third last note. So it's playful. Yes, it is. Um, Finished concert there, can you? So it's interrupted. Yes, it was. Um, let's do one more interrupted just so you can hear it. Two or three more chords to get you back there. All right, memory. Here we go. Actually, I'm going to do memorization last because you're going to have to work on it a lot, and I don't want to hide it in the video. Um, so pitch, as you've done in previous grades, we are now a little bit of rhythm in with it. Um, let's do a top line just so that you can get the go of it. Oops. Do that again. Hope you were humming along and you sing. Or you could do it in tune if you like. Can you catch this, the lower part, even though I didn't ask you to listen for it? Let's have a listen. There's going to be lots of contrary. Uh, draw it in the air so that you know which part your, which direction your part goes in. Mm. Let's do that again and hum along. And last time that you were doing this, you were only doing four notes without rhythm. And so that one had one, two, three, four, five, six with a bit of rhythm in it. So don't worry if it feels a little bit spooky at the beginning. We'll get there. And the bottom part was la 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 la. So you can listen along to the radio or anything. Um, when you're listening to things, try to sing along with the lower part. Get that ear going. 
all the time now. So ear tests now definitely aren't something that we just look at when you during piano practice uh, or your instrument practice or at your lesson. You want to be thinking about it all week. It's just a part of your language now. So whenever you're listening to music, figure out, you know, cadences and try to echo things back in your head and sing lower parts and pick middle parts of chords and it's around you all the time. Uh, let's do another one. Bottom part. Do it again. Yes, it was. Ba -da -la -da -la -la. I should have been doing la. Um, I also play that very kindly then and not all examined as well. I played. But they might go. So don't assume it will be brought out clearly for you. Um, and it's very rare in an exam to get asked the upper part. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody doing that. If you were doing really badly and they wanted to help you pass, maybe they'd give you the upper part. Um, one more of those and we'll go on to memorization. Yes. La, 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 la. Now, almost all of these finish on the same note that they started. Uh, let's just do one. I know it said that was the last. Um, that doesn't, because you'll only hear the gap once between the first time that I play it and the second. A musical thing, isn't it? If those ones are catching you out, make recordings of yourself doing this and um, just go through lots of them, but listening to the gap between the end of the first time and the beginning of the second. It's the only time that you're going to get that interval and um, for some people that's important. We're on to memorization. Okay, this. <laughs> you know, welcome to the really advanced part of your music training. When you look at advanced musicians and go, what? how are they picking that up so quickly? Um, it comes from bits like this. So you're going to get, let me read it out. Approximately one minute. Yeah, I've had times in an exam where I, I'm sure they gave me a minute 20 and I was totally confused. Approximately one minute being allowed to memorize a two bar, it's a lot of notes, but you know, two bar, two bar melodic phrase from a printed copy away from the instrument. The candidate will then play or sing the phrase from memory. The examiner will sound the key note before the phrase is memorized. So this is important. Uh, you need to clarify with Amy B before your exam that you can do it on the piano. Um, for most people, playing it on the piano is far easier. For singers, it's ultra important. If you have to sing this back, that brings a whole lot of extra things into play, uh, making it heaps harder. You have to have your solfege right down and, and terrific um, relative pitch or perfect pitch if you're lucky. Um, so assuming that you're doing this back on piano. Uh, for violinists it can be easier on here but yeah lots of instruments prefer to do this on piano. 
data. Is that better? So we <laughs> got to do it backwards and upside down. Um, so the way that I do it, the examiner will play the D. I think occasionally you're allowed to play it. I'm looking for words to help me. So I'm going to go turn, like this is a turn, ba -da -da, yeah. Then there's an arpeggio, and it actually starts the note for arpeggio. So I'm going to go turning arpeggio. That gives me the first bar. If I take that away, can you see it? Turning arpeggio. D you might go, have you got, <laughs> I forgot to tell you the first thing. D. And is it D major? So you're going to have to look at that first because that's going to make a difference, isn't it? You are guaranteed that the note, that the accidentals are going to be in this section. You are not going to be playing white notes all the way through, um, apart from this in the bass clef and, <laughs> yeah, and this one and this one. Um, normally, normally there's going to be accidentals. All right. Turning arpeggio, seventh, right, I want to know I've gone outside the octave, seven up, seven V, I try not to do names of notes, um, but I might do one there, seven V, walking, same, down, you get um, walking, oh, walking repeat is the same note, but it can be hard to figure which note is the same. Seven up, walking same down. So I'm looking at my piano and you're not allowed to play it and you're not allowed to put your hand upon the keys, but you can play it on your lap. You can also play it in the air. If you, <laughs> if you line it up, you can just look. Turning up here. G O seven up seven B. Oh, so I know that it's a third there, but you might need to go back over that bit. Seven B walking same down, and that F sharp to finish. Turn it. This gets harder for me to teach because I can pick them up instantly, so I have to think about when I couldn't. Oh, so the more that you're singing it and you can <laughs> underneath your breath all the time because there will be rhythm as well. It's not going to go or something. There's going to be rhythm. So the rhythm parts where there's extra notes is where you have to concentrate more. Peggio. And now seven up. C, E, B, you might decide you need all those three notes. Or black E, B, because you want to know the accidental. Sharp E, B. It depends a bit on how you think of music and what instrument you're playing it back on, because it might, you know, there might be some clue. Um, 7, B. Walking, I know it's going to go downwards at the end. Walking, same down. And they say, your time's up. And I go. And I didn't memorize how long the last note was. And mine was a bit long. But off. Ha. Huh. So that will be part of it then. All right. Tricky, huh? New. Later on, it just becomes something that you can just glance at and you just sort of have to look at it for about two seconds later. So, yeah, play with it a lot because this is a skill that you're going to need as a musician and you will pick up that skill. And um, so the more you do it, the more easy it will be. Let's do the second one. Shall we do it with... Yeah. So, whoops, that one that starts on the. <laughs> F. Uh, I'm just going to do it separately here. Wait a minute. 
um, to see if I can figure out some lyrics for it. Don't. Oh, so my solfege is good, and if you'd like me to start working some solfege for you on lessons, that's probably a clever thing because it's just it's a really fast way to do stuff and a great way to get your ear in, in better. Um, so F is do. I work on movable do, do, which you sort of need for a good ear, I think. So walking down to flat. I'm going to try that out now. I'll line it up. So walking down to flat. Was there a dot? There was. So walking down to flat. Okay. <laughs> One and two and walking down to flat. Um, if your ear isn't great, as you're singing along, it won't always be right. So don't let that throw you when you go to play it back. Da -ha -de -ha. Um, so that's G minor. Ba walking down to flat and G D E. I don't want to. Two names of note. Uh, one down to flat minor. So I'm thinking of the minor triad. Minor up seven. So it's a seventh with the flat seven. A. I'm going to give that. And walking down to flat and seven up. Does it go up? Seven up. Whoops, minor up seven A. Let's give it a go. And walking down to flat minor up seven A. Right, I got it. I mean, I had it earlier. But... And you can hear I've got good relative, but not um, perfect. So my do moved slightly. And I was just looking at the length of the first and last notes. One, two. There you go. Welcome to memorization. So part of your life as a musician now is endless imitation. The microwave goes beep and you go beep and the watch goes, the, the alarm goes ba -da -do 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 -do, and you go ba -da -do 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 -do. and a bird out the window goes -do 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 -do, and you go ba -do 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 -do. Right. every chance for imitation grab it because boy your ear is going to have to be amazing by Elmos and this is the real turning point at grade seven. Congratulations on getting this far, it's going to take a while, just play at it as an endless game. All right, see you later, you did really well, bye.